In this video, you'll learn how to overcome your fear of falling out of a handstand and become more confident to achieve your handstand. First, let's talk about your lunge. Whichever hand you write with, step that same leg forward. Before kicking up into your handstand, think about hollowing out your body by engaging your abs. Continue holding your hollow body while kicking up into your handstand. Once your hands touch the ground, spread your fingers apart and give the ground a nice spider grip. You should have most of your weight in the palm of your hand and then use your fingers to help you balance. Once your hands touch the ground, push through your front leg to get into a handstand. When you're first learning to do a handstand, I suggest kicking up with your legs apart. That way your bottom leg is already there to catch you when you come back down. If you're scared to fall backwards in your handstand, I suggest kicking up to a wall to help build your confidence. Once you're ready to move away from the wall, it's important to know how to save yourself from falling backwards. There are many ways to save yourself from falling over, but starting off, I always suggest twisting over one shoulder to land on your feet. Now that you know how to save yourself from falling over, let's start to focus on proper form. Lots of people like to arch in their handstands, so a good way to practice a hollow shape is to lay down on the ground with your legs up in the air. At this point, your whole spine should be on the ground. Then what you're going to try to do is lower your legs all the way to the ground without letting your back lift off the ground. How you know you're doing this properly is that your whole back is on the ground when your legs are extended out. When I was training as a gymnast, I like to use a pail mat at home to boost my confidence while doing skills. But once I felt comfortable enough to do a handstand on the hard floor, I learned I was able to control my handstand better on a hard surface. The best advice that I could give you is make sure you're keeping track of your progress. It's very important to track it either by video or by writing down the longest handstand hold you did each day. The last tip I have for you is make sure you have a handstand routine. If you'd like to know which handstand routine me and my husband like to use, make sure you check out my husband's video up here. Also, let us know the longest handstand you've held in the comments down below.